Hey Nathan, it's Monday, November 4th. So we've been waiting over a year for this month and now it's finally here. In September of 2012, two astronomers discovered the comet Ison at an observatory in Russia. The comet was named for the International Scientific Optical Network, which is a project consisting of 11 member countries all working together to search the skies for objects moving through space. The comet's core has a diameter of about 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers. It will reach its perihelion, which means its closest distance from the sun, near the end of November. Earth's orbit will intersect with the comet's orbit around the 14th or 15th of January next year. There's a possibility of a meteor shower, although chances are very slim as the center or the nucleus of the comet and its tail will have long since passed. Nathan, to you and me, what's so exciting and cool about this comet is its visibility. There are some critics to this assertion, but we might even be able to see the comet during the daytime. It could get as bright or even brighter than the planet Venus. The 6th of November is predicted to be the first day of unassisted visibility. During this month, it will pass through the constellation Virgo and pass the planet Saturn. The availability of these trajectories can aid amateur astronomers like us in easily locating the comet at night. The comet is projected to be brightest during its perihelion. There's also the possibility that its proximity to the sun will cause it to disintegrate, which, if visible, would also put on quite a show. Some scientists are also skeptical of its visibility, thinking the glare of the sun might be too bright. Once it has passed the sun, as long as it does not disintegrate, it will be dimmer in the night sky, but observable in both hemispheres and have a long tail trailing it. Continuing into late December, it will be positioned in an opportune place in the sky for people of the northern hemisphere. Although the comet might not reach the brightness level of 15 times the full moon as once optimistically projected, it will still be a sight to see. Nathan, I think we should track and observe the comet over the next month or so during its peak visibility. Also, I think this week should be comet themed. Since I made a video covering meteor showers, could you do a video explaining comets? It would be nice knowing the differences and how they're related. Nathan, we'll see you on Wednesday. Hey, Nathan is still trucking away on his NaNoWriMo goal. Please leave some words of encouragement in the comments section below. Hello, kitty. What are you doing, kitty?